Good evening and welcome back to the West Ham Network. I am Anton. Hope you are keeping safe and well as per usual. Now, I know I do, and I usually do do uh, an intro, and I will do the intro in a minute. However, um, before we get started on the intro, I just wanted to introduce you to someone who unfortunately has passed away. A good friend of the channel, a good friend to many West Ham fan channels, but also a good friend to many, many people. Uh, Matthew Wren, a.k.a. Peach. Um, Peach was a guy who ran another West Ham channel, West Ham Random. Um, he was the life and soul of the party. He was good fun. He always had a laugh with everyone. He was extremely positive about life, extremely positive about West Ham. He always saw the good rather than the bad. Um, and he always had time to send everybody loads of voice notes. Everybody, literally everybody, 10 minutes long. He must have spent all day sending everyone voice notes. Um, but unfortunately, Peach, my friend, my G, as we all say, you're no longer with us. Um, and please rest in peace and you'll be forever. Um, remember,
Now, the story has been going on over the summer and several reporters over the summer have led with this story. And then the new update that says that the deal could be concluded for around 35 to 36 million pounds, including add-ons for the player. Um, contacts between the two clubs have come alive in West Ham are in contact with Sasalui to potentially close the deal for Skamaka, according to the reports. They've made it very clear that they needed about 40 million euros, which is 34 million quid plus 6 million pounds in add-ons to close the deal. Um, but West Ham, of course, as we do, go in and have asked for a discount. Now, a deal could potentially close in for around about 29 to 31 million plus bonuses, which would take the fee to around 35 to 36 and a half million. And that's the base from which the parties are starting to talk again. Skamaka didn't feature for Sassalou, Sassa, Sassa, uh, recent friendly, and the transfer market developments was one of the reasons for it. And the manager from Sassalou, um, Dionisi, declared yesterday that he was tired of Skamaka's situation and the transfer window distractions and wanted it concluded one way or another as soon as possible. Now, Skamaka didn't do much training as the others is what the manager said and they didn't want to risk him and what I'd like for the transfer market is for it to close as soon as possible so we don't need to keep talking about it if there are no further sales then it'll be easier working and training otherwise we'll have to keep making do with what we have a coach has to be a coach then along the directors find the right um, players for the squad but it's important to respect one's roles it sounds like something's going to give and West Ham could potentially be bringing in this Italian international, who many people are reporting, he's a he's a kind of mix of Ibrahimovic and Arnautovic. He's got the ability. He holds the ball really well. He tracks back, and we have covered a lot about what he can do as a player. But we will bring you a more in depth look at what Skamaka does. I know Russ spoke about him this morning in the West Ham Daily, but it's looking likely that we could get this deal. And West Ham will definitely want to tie up some deals very quickly, especially with the news about you know who joining you know who yesterday and not joining West Ham so I think Moyes will be pushing forward now to bring in some recruits we desperately need and we all know we desperately need those recruits as well so leave your comments in about West Ham potentially bringing Skamaka into the club and last but not least some reports are breaking today saying that Aguerd will be missing for the next two months now this is unreported not you know it's not confirmed 100% However, it's not a break, but we think there's going to be some form of ligament damage coming from Aguerd. Um, and I think the club are kind of obviously worried about that situation. But hopefully, what I said to the lads in the chat was that, you know, if he can recover to the levels of what Zuma did, if you think back to when Zuma was injured and drastically came out of the blue and came back literally two, two months early, then hopefully we can get that from a player of his fitness levels because he does look like he's different gravy. Obviously, I was at the, the um, fortunate enough to go to the, the Rangers friendly and for the 15 20 minutes that he played before he got injured however long it was he did look like he was different gravy and from the highlights i've seen he does look like he's different gravy he can pin pat pin a pass like across the field no problem at all pick out the player with no feet at all and also he can track back really fast he's so fast he's got so much pace it's ridiculous must be one of the fastest players in theory in the premier league because he's got so much speed about him so he's a player that excites me but it's disappointing to think that he's going to be missing for the start of the season don't doubt for a second he will be started injured for the start of the season but hopefully he's fit enough and agile enough and strong enough to be able to break through this and um, but it's not going to be great if he is injured for the start of the season and what does that mean then for the west ham team moving forward especially the fact that dawson has got a niggle as well and hasn't played much game time over the last couple of friendlies so it looks like west ham could be starting with zuma and potentially Diop, because Diop might not be heading out the door. And also Ogbonna is coming back from the long-term injury as well. So I can see the central defensive pairing being Diop and Zuma, unless West Ham do business over the next week. And now if we are going to be doing business, it's going to change anything in this team. It needs to be done in the next week. A hundred percent it does. So hopefully Aguerd isn't as bad. And if it is only two months, he's got the physical ability to be able to track um, get over this injury sooner rather than later that would be ideal but we will have to wait to see officially and like i did say that is um unconfirmed report so we'll see when that officially does come out like i said thank you very much for watching if you are new around here please subscribe to the channel please hit the thumbs up please leave a comment and like i said finally i just want to say condolences to peach's family um gone but never forgotten and stay safe and come on you irons